Hey guys, it's Ro. Today I am making a DIY craft idea using the Poo Swirl Mold from my baking line. I love silicone molds because you can use them to make so many different things. You can make edible brownies and cakes and desserts and candy, but you can also use them to make DIY craft projects. So today I'm gonna show you how to use the mold to make DIY unicorn poop candles. If you're interested in this mold, I'll put a link down below. Let's get started. The things you'll need to make these unicorn poop candles will be some soy wax flakes, some oil-based liquid scent. This is for whatever you want your candle to smell like while it's burning. I'm using strawberry, orange, and apple blossom. Oil-based liquid dye. I'm using purple, pink, green, blue, yellow, and orange. Six candle wicks and a silicone mold. First step is preparing your mold. You can directly pour your wax into the mold but because I'm going for a swirl look, I like to set the mold on top of a rolling pin, just anything that will create a diagonal slant. So to keep the wax in there, take a piece of tape and tape the bottom of each row. You wanna make sure it covers at least half of the opening. Over here in a large bowl, I've poured in all of the soy wax flakes. To make the first color, measure one cup into a heat safe measuring cup, then microwave for two minutes or until it's completely melted. It's a unicorn, but it's also like a flying squirrel. I just took it out of the microwave. It's completely melted. Add your color dye. I'm starting with purple and a little bit of fragrance. I'm gonna put in a little drop of strawberry. Then with a spoon, mix together until well combined. Divide your melted wax between the six cavities evenly. Try to make it as even as possible. I let this sit out for 25 minutes and look at that. Now that it's completely set, we can start making our second color. The next color I'll be using is blue. To make it, we use the same product process, just keep doing it four more times to make green, yellow, orange, and pink wax until your poo swirl is full. I've given the wax plenty of time to set. Now it is time to pop them out, pull on the sides around the mold to loosen the material, and then push from the bottom. Oh, I love it! Oh. Time to add our wicks. Because our candles are in odd shape, we do have to take an extra step, but it's also kind of fun. Take a paper towel. Oh, side note, these are my favorite paper towels. These are by Viva, and they are the fanciest paper towel I've ever used in my life, and I love them. All right, then take your finger, boop, make a point, then we'll rip it off. Over here, I have an ice cream cone holder and underneath it, a piece of parchment paper. So when the wax melts, it will just drip onto the parchment paper and not onto your countertop. Place your paper towel with the hole into one of these cavities. This is creating a little soft cushion around this harsh edge so that it won't damage your candle. Flip it upside down into the cone holder. Now, to make the hole, this is fun. We're gonna be using a blowtorch. You can find a blowtorch at at a hardware store, or there's even small handheld ones at food stores. Turn on the gas to low, then take a metal coat hanger. I use this because I thought most people had these lying around the house. Just heat the straight edge slowly back and forth six times. Then line it up to the center and press down gently. When you can't press anymore, stop, wipe off the excess wax, reheat again, and continue to make your hole until it goes all the way through. Once you've made your hole, Insert the wick while the candle wax is still hot. Then let it sit for about a minute to harden. Do this to all your candles. Our candles are now ready. The last step is to cut our wicks down to size. Cut them about half an inch above the hole. And ta-da! There you have it, DIY unicorn poop candles. I absolutely love these because you can use any rainbow colors you'd like or any fragrances. If you're interested in the mold that I used today for my baking line, I will put a link down below. I will also be taking lots of pictures and posting the instructions on rosannapantsino.com, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can check it out there. And if you guys make any DIY crafts with this mold, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your creations especially when they are unicorn poo themed. We've got to light one of these because we want to release the magical fragrances. <gasps> I love it. It's a magical rainbow flaming poo.